late again. We're hauling butt up there to get the trailhead. We're gonna pack in. Yeah, our pack's pretty light this week, so we can only do uh, two days. We'll just hit it as hard as we can, and hopefully they're bugling this weekend. He's got some coffee going over there in his tent. Better get up and get some breakfast and some coffee and get on the trail. Hopefully they get more aggressive uh, tonight because honestly the calling so far has pretty much just been, uh, really they just respond and not really react. Buck I see in the morning, good looking buck. He's got kickers on each side. We dropped down, got right on their level. I thought the wind was in our favor. We did some raking, a little bit of bugling, nothing. Did a little cow pony, walked through super slow. No clue. It's like they're ghosts. That's what we're talking about right there. This is going to be murderous. Now we got another, well, we got a long ways to go. Start glassing. So. Oh, man. Well, I go. Yeah, I'm exhausted. The hike last night was. Oh, man, it's bad. Alright, so it's uh, probably about 30 minutes before uh, first light and opening morning. Uh, honestly, it still doesn't quite feel real. It was hotter than heck last night. And uh, last night we didn't see uh, any good bucks, so um, we decided to uh, leave camp here. We're going to go up to this ridge and hopefully hunt off here all day, and hopefully uh, we do well. It's, uh, it's that uh, optimism, but uh, also realism of hunting these mule deer is going to be tough. So let's see what we find. Don't fill up your camel's back up to the tube because when came off, that's what happened. <laughs> well, it's, <clears throat> it's the first light opening morning. I'm glassing for about 10 minutes. I haven't seen anything yet. I'm going to glass for this typical one last time. If I don't see him, I'm going to climb up over that next peak and look for the non-tip goal down in the next drainage and hopefully watch him till he beds and then uh, wait for the wind to change uphill and go for it. I won't walk around you, won't walk around. Well, Lenny and I uh, just got up on top of the ridge here 30 minutes later than we wanted, but we had a water emergency with this pack. <laughs> Anyways, two shooters spotted already. Pick the one we want and go put a stock on. I just 
just got about halfway up here and happened to see a, a buck feeding out in the sun in a patch of green. So, and look, sure enough, it's the non-typical, so let's take a look at him. Every time I've seen him, he's been out just basking in the sun. Well, those are his buddies, and they left him snoozing about a third of a mile away. So, where they're at, it's really stockable, and uh, he's still back there sleeping. So, I might, once the wind changes uphill, head for where those four bucks are and then uh, and then wait for him to catch up with them because I know he'll probably go where they went. I mean they, they're all hanging out together so. So Rapunzel please slip down your hair so I can climb up there and I can get so bad to you. So I look you saw right through what you intend to do. You better find somewhere to go. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Lenny's gonna give this a go. I'm gonna stay up on top of the ridge and video from this perspective. We're not sure what it looks like from there. He might be able to get within 40 yards, or it might be 100. 100. Well, let's do it, man. Making a stock, there's three bucks bedded underneath this tree. There's a big rock rock ledge, and it's just whether or not he can be quiet enough getting down there. The wind is kind of gusty, so if he uses that to his advantage, moves when it blows hard, I think he can make this happen. All right, first um, high country buck. I've been dreaming about this for years. You know, I killed one with my rifle 10 years ago, and I've been chasing him with my bow ever since, and never have got it done, so. I've dreamed about this for a long time. I've been unsuccessful. It's, I mean, this is just hard, hard country. We sat on this buck for probably at least two hours waiting for him to make the wrong move versus us, and uh, we're up here, very, very tops, and uh, it's, uh, it's awesome.
say you got anything, gotta be everything, gotta be everything. But I don't know what I need, but I don't know what I want, but all I do know is I want me some. But I don't know this is uh, 2011. Uh, High country, do it yourself, public land, uh, mule deer. I'm not sure how I hit high, but I hit back here a ways and it, it, it got long. I mean, it, it ruined his day. He was done in 10 seconds. So, sorry, buddy. August, what is it, 30th? I forgot to mention that I never First time to in August. The first time I ever notched a tag in August. Get behind in front. That's what I said. Waffle got to mention yeah, that I still reach for you. Waffle got to listen to the words you spoke. Gotta get me home. Run park. I ran out of water about halfway through the cleaning. Waffle got to mention that I'm feeling right broken. I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> uh, I wish you guys could feel how heavy this pack is. That's ridiculous. But it looks good, huh? Tough, man. I'm glad I'm not going too much uphill. Done though, man. I'll do it again tomorrow. It's uh, I'm back at the truck. It's the end of one one of the longest days I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> it's all worth it though. See the sunlight fading. Fading 